Yo, what up? Yabba dabble, scrabble dabble. What's going on, guys? Hey, it's Agent Orange, and uh, I hope you guys are doing fantastico. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm just trying to arrange my life um, and my YouTube hobbying around my new work schedule and stuff. Oh, man, man. By the way, you guys may have seen a preview from the um, last video, but this is basically two transmutate and um, two wing fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, y'all been good? Hope you guys are doing well today. Whenever this video is catching you, whether you be at work, school, or somewhere else doing your thing, eating food, taking a dump, or whatever it is, <laughs> Hopefully y'all are super duper chillin'. Um, some of you have asked me privately um, what is the deal um, with my uh, work scenario right now. And um, I am just kind of in a period where I have to put together a lot of things. A lot of presentations actually in preparation for next year. Um, a lot of planning basically for next year's business and so um, it's just taking up a ton of my attention I'm putting together a lot of different presentations planning things out and so it's really really exhausting and though and that and like even though I do have like some time left in the day it's like dude it's come to the point where like I can't even play with toys because I'm so mentally fatigued right ain't that a low down dirty shame but hey that's life right that's life um yeah, don't get me wrong. I like what I do. I like what I do. It's just that right now, it's just very exhausting time. But like I said, this is two wing fingers, two transmutates, and two people, you and me, or and a bunch of other people looking around and blah, blah, blah. And so um, I'm going to show you how to make this build today. And like I mentioned in the other video, what's really cool is even though they're using two and two, each build is not using... I mean, it's using 100% of the parts from each of the sets, but as you can see, they're built very, very, very differently. Um, and let's start with Transmutate on the right. Yeah, she kind of has this warrior, Grace Jones. Y'all know Grace Jones? Watch some Conan. Watch Conan the Barbarian? Or is it Conan the Destroyer? I don't know. But Grace Jones was an actress, warrior actress type back in the day who had a really short buzz cut. And so Transmutate kind of reminds me of her, or, or um, I don't know if you guys watch Mad TV, that's an old gem. Deborah Wilson from Mad TV, I believe she's Bellona, she don't, she don't, she's bald too. Um, but yeah, yeah, so it kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, a lot of strong, like, bald or short hair um, female figures in the MCU. I think that's pretty cool, especially from Wakanda. I think that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, so first one, I'll show you how to make this one. So some of the stuff, if I can't explain it, I'll take it apart, but otherwise I'll, I'll try to just kind of keep it, or I'll just take it apart, whatever. Okay, the bottom half is just um, the thighs, right? Connected to, uh, thighs of the paleo, or uh, transmutate, connected to the thighs Whoa, very cool design inside there. Connected to the thighs of the wing finger, right? And then it has that inverted knee pan fost look that I really, really like. And then it gives her these cool little boots. Um, these kind of like um, bird claw, satyr goat type leg thing. So that's the bottom half. Um, the top half is pretty cool too. Um, I think like the torso is really uniquely designed. And uh, I think I'm going to have to take it all apart to show you how everything works. But check this out. See the crest over here, right? And look how the um, the forearms are like hidden just like perfectly right behind there. And it kind of gives this like really cool shoulder pauldron things. Love that. Love that. So in the center, you can see that this is the, the dinosaur face and the crest. And then the robot face right there, right? And then how does everything else plug in? So here. Let me take off the buckler first. All right, that's what it looks like without the buckler. And then you can see this is just, it's almost, yeah, it's just, it's too loose. But everything is this. So you just remove that, right? This right here is the lower half of the wing finger. And basically it has two of these things, one here on the one on the adjacent side. And one on the adjacent side, what you're doing is you're plugging in the claw from the paleo tracks and then 
at the top over here, there's a port that comes out from the claw, the elbow area. Then you connect the calf of the transmutate at the knee joint. And then you bring that down and then connect that to the other hand, the other um, Palotrex transmutate hand. And then plug in two of the tails. And at the top of that little opening over here of the wing finger lower half, that's where you plug in the forearm. Yeah. Then you just make two sides like that. And you plug it in, but the other side you have the wing finger spears, but they're identical. Then you just plug them in like that. Then you get the shield, the buckler, and it just holds it all in place, which I think is really, really fantastic and very, very neat. And this is what the back looks like. I think the back looks really, really unique. Yeah, really, really cool, right? And then you just plug her waist right down the center. like so. And there we go. And there we have her in her first mode. Neat, right? I think so. Yeah. So cool. I'm going to show you the next one right now. The next one. The next one has these like really unique like shoulder like arm configurations, you see that? That's pretty tight, right? That's pretty tight, I think so. You turn it around, and even the back, it looks looks pretty good. Not that it has balancing issues, but then it's like, it's not flat, so sometimes you see him lean forward or backward, but, excuse me, doesn't really matter, yeah. So, let's break him down. Um, yeah, let's crack them in half first. The bottom is really interesting in that you have your standard, like, thigh configuration, but for his calves, we are using those blade things instead. And you use those little blade things, as the calves have these on the outside. Uh, he could still, you know, bend at the knee, which I think is cool. And to form the feet, you have the wing finger thigh plugged in right there, and then you have the combined mode head plugged in at the end of that to become the toe. And then you do that for both sides, and then you have the bottom half. Easy peasy, right? So move that to the side. Let's look at the top part. All right, so everything actually is connected to this middle part. The middle part is the same as the previous one. Dino head, robot head, crest right up in the front. But each of the arm sides, each of the left and right hemispheres are identical. And so actually, we can start with the forearm. The forearm is plugged in. It's a pretty decent fit for these figures. Um, it's plugged into the side of the dino head. And we have our fit like so. Then um, we have the um, the arm. And the arm, it's going to plug into the fist. That little hole over there, it's going to like choke. It's going to plug in there. But this arm is basically the wing finger top half. Okay. And uh, before I get too crazy, over here is the wing finger claw foot thing, and it's plugged in right there. And then at the back, okay, now I got to get a little bit crazy. So sand sandwiched in the middle of the biceps of the wing finger is the transmutate dino tail, right? Then you sandwich that in the middle of it, and then you have the first arm. That's like the inner arm, and this is the outer arm. And so on the outside of that bicep, you're going to just plug in the heel and the calf of the transmutate and plug in the wing finger spear. And then you have the outer arm and then you have like the inner arm. Then you have this back thing, the dino head, which is plugged into the little knee peg um, from the other side of the bicep or sorry, the elbow peg. Yeah. So it's like that. You, you basically do that on both sides. And you plug that bit into the open fist. Actually, this is a really nice fit on these guys. Sometimes um, the fit's not so snug on different figures, but these guys are playing real well, so I'm very, very happy about that. And then, yeah, everything you just kind of like orient, or orient, orient, um, and then you just kind of get it right. Then, boom. You plug that in, and pretty much you're good to go. And out of shot. So, let me get him back on shot. Let me get her... Uh, where's she at? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they're kind of like a queen... 
a king and a queen. A king and a queen. She is more like the the archer, kind of like nimble assassin on the side, while he is a, a bit more of the burly, rough around the edges tank dude, um, backing her up from the back and just doing stuff. Actually, he'd be in the front because he's a tank, you know, taking all the hits while she'd provide support from the back. But um, yeah, a cool marriage and a cool union of two cool of two very cool uh, figures in Wingfinger and Transmutate, and a very cool relationship between you and me, the content creator, the content viewer, and together we become the community. Yeah, very cool times, very cool times. Um, but got to get back to work. <laughs> got to get back to work. My lunch break is over. Um, so um, got to get back on task, make that squirrel shrill ends funds cash whatever bank dank whatever you want to call it um well thank something else <laughs> um but i will talk to y'all at another time yeah greatest of love peace and joy um unto you all and until we meet again my friend yeah take care bye okay this time for real bye